if you can create something that is recognizable with a few lines, you know you've got something with a strong potential. You know, many companies, they start thinking about the product right away. They start thinking about technology right away. We start by looking at, you know, people that cycle. Why they cycle, what the type of experience uh, they are, they're seeking. And that leads us to think about products that kind of go in that direction. Uh, how can we do a better product? How can we do a more comfortable product? How can we do a more lighter product? But the real question is, how can we bring the future into today's products? In a traditional linear process, uh, usually the prototypes are done toward the end of a process to express uh, manufacturability. Instead here, the prototypes are a way of learning a little bit more and test our solutions. You spend less time working on a clean sheet of paper than you used to do before. There's many more tools you have at hand now, which means you need to be flexible as a designer. You need to learn new ways of working all the time. So the fact that we are doing so many iterations of product uh, prototypes, that means that we rely so much on external feedback. For a project like this, you have input from many different people. You have input from medical professionals, you have input from professional bicycle riders, you have the commercial side coming in with market trends. And then you have the engineers with their technical and feasibility uh, input and it takes a long time just to understand what all these people talk about because they talk in very different ways and you have to listen to them in different ways. Your job as a designer is to try to compile that into a shape. Collaboration is, is everything. Every feedback I get from the riders or the mechanics is very important to improve the, the products. Technologies are not really the key. They become just a mean to get where we want to be. You're not going to listen to some pressure map on its own. How do you feel about how that saddle works? Because that's the thing I want to know. The goal of our community is, I would say, to make better product, but it's more than product. It's about delivering the right experience, an experience that you know, cyclists can appreciate. The spirit behind this project is trying to bring everything and everyone together to the main goal that is making cyclists' life better. The way we see it here is more a philosophy towards product development. That philosophy becomes a mindset, which basically is a creative problem solving. We are all cyclists. Uh, we are different kind of cyclists, and we brought all our experience in one table, and from there we start to innovate.